Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another uni based video for you guys and it is around online learning again. So I did a video a few weeks ago about online learning but that one was more about like kind of the format of how you'll learn at uni or how I learn at my uni. Anyway I go to UEA which is the University of East Anglia. So the video I did a few weeks ago was kind of like how you're going to learn, like the format of the learning and stuff like that. So today I thought I would put together a little video of my 10 top tips for learning online. Online. So these are just things that I've picked up. I have had quite a lot of experience now with online learning So I just wanted to share with you guys what I've found really helpful So whether you are a returning student or a new student, hopefully you'll find this video really helpful and yeah, let's just get into it. So my first tip and possibly the most important is to try and keep as much of a routine as you can. This is one thing that I definitely struggled with at the start of lockdown when I was having online teaching because I didn't technically have to get up for anything. I would just end up like sitting in bed for ages and I would do my lectures at like one o'clock in the afternoon rather than at nine o'clock in the morning. But I think it's definitely better to not do that. <laughs> just get out of that habit early. And if you're supposed to have a lecture at nine o'clock in the morning, get up and do it at nine o'clock in the morning. Honestly, like you might be thinking at the time, why am I doing this to myself? But it will help you a lot more to just keep some kind of normality, some kind of routine and just think of it as the weekdays are when you get all your work done, you do your lectures, like get up at nine o'clock every day, get, just get it done. And then you have the weekends to relax. I also feel like having a routine like this just helps you from getting left behind, like behind on your work. And it just makes sure that you get everything done when it's supposed to get done and just keep everything on time. My second tip is something that I've learned through doing online learning, but it can also be applied to learning in person when we're allowed again. And that is don't be afraid to contribute. I have definitely found that the more you contribute, the more you learn and it's so beneficial. I'm someone, I've spoken about this before on my channel, but I used to be really shy and I still feel like I am quite shy in person. I would never ever put my hand up in class or anything like that. So learning online has really given me the chance to share my ideas. A lot of the ways that I've had online teaching means that responses have been anonymous, which I've really, really liked because then I'm not afraid to share my ideas. And most of the time it ends up being right anyway. So it's also boosted my confidence. So I would definitely say engage in your lectures as much as possible and even more so online. You will learn so much more. It might seem kind of strange at first talking to a laptop. I definitely thought that it was a bit weird, but you get used to it so quickly. And then it's just natural. So yeah, just make sure you contribute. So my next tip is to get up and get dressed as if you were actually leaving the house to go to your lectures. It can be so tempting to just sit in your pajamas and sit in your bed and do them. But honestly, if you just get up and get ready for the day, you'll feel so much more productive and it's so worth it. Personally, I think I'm way more productive when I actually get ready for the day. So yeah, I would recommend doing that rather than just sitting in your pajamas arms all day because you're not really going to want to work. My next tip is that just because you might not be able to see your lecturers in person doesn't mean they're not there. They are still more than willing to help and just if you need help ask for it. Don't sit there and you clearly know that you don't know what you're doing and just let yourself get more and more confused. It's better to like nip it in the bud straight away. If you don't understand something, contact your lecturers. You can do this by email. Email is normally my first port of call and then I'll organize like a call on Microsoft Teams. And this has been really helpful because Microsoft Teams is free and you just type in your like university email to set it up. It's kind of like FaceTime. So it feels like you're talking to them face to face and it's a really, really good way of communicating during this time when you can't arrange face to face meetings with them and all of my lecturers have been so good at using this if I ever want to talk to them about anything I organize an MS Teams meeting and it just gets sorted straight away I've also used Skype with some of my lecturers as well and this has been really good both MS Teams and Skype have the screen sharing option so this has been really helpful because you can 
like literally show them what you don't understand so i definitely recommend doing that rather than exchanging loads of emails but to be honest whatever your preferred way of communicating is just make sure you do it the lecturers want the best for you as well this is a weird situation for everyone so all of them are just willing to help as much as they can and they genuinely want to help you so please ask for help if you need it my next tip is make sure you take regular breaks but not only this make sure you go outside that might sound really stupid and simple but I feel like it's so easy when everything you're doing is online to just end up staying inside all day and it's really not great for you so even if you just go outside for a quick little walk if you go to UEA like myself then they have the lake down at the bottom of campus which is so so lovely just go and take a little loop around there or just pop to the shop to buy something or even just go and sit in Eaton Park for a bit I feel like it is just so important to keep going outside I know that if I don't go outside for a whole day like mentally I just feel so not great <laughs> tip number six is to talk to other people on your course contact your course mates because if there's something that you're unsure about chances are they're maybe unsure about it as well and you guys can bounce off each other bounce off ideas and help each other out so i've been in touch with my course mates from mostly snapchat to be honest just because it's nice and quick and easy but also most universities will have like group chats for your course so we have like a big environmental science group chat which has like geography students geology students like all of us in it and a lot of us do the same modules so if you have a question you can always ask it on there and tip number seven is make sure you plan things to look forward to i think that this tip is almost as important as the first one i am somebody and i know a lot of people are as well that i need things to look forward to in order to motivate myself otherwise like if i know i've got nothing to look forward to i just get so unmotivated so make sure that you plan things to look forward to whether that be at the weekend or like inviting some friends around for dinner or having a movie night with some friends just little things like that can really really help to keep up your motivation i think social interaction is so important so for a number of reasons just make Make sure that you socialize with your friends keep up that contact and organize things to look forward to so the next tip may be a little bit more tricky for some of you guys and it is to try and create a good space to learn in i know this is easier said than done and it's a lot easier like in your family home because you can learn like at a desk or in the kitchen or like a different room but for many uni students myself included we live in student houses so you kind of just do everything in your bedroom most of us have desks in our bedroom and it can be very tempting to just like sit in your bed when it's in the same room but try and kind of separate the space so if your desk is in the same room maybe that be like a little barrier in between or just mentally try and separate it from your bed so associate your bed with relaxing and going to sleep and your desk with learning and then that way hopefully when you sit down at your desk you will just get on with it and learn and also just don't do your lectures in your bed that can be really tempting as well i've done it and i just end up getting distracted i end up watching youtube videos or netflix so just don't do it just do it at your desk <laughs> also go to the library i'm not sure what's happening with the library at uea whether it's going to be open or not but if your library is open then definitely do your work in the library i think it's so much easier to get your work done in the library it was literally a savior last year i practically lived in the library or to be fair you can even find like other places to do your work like whether it's a little cafe or something i know it's a bit difficult at the moment with social distancing and stuff but hopefully things will start to get back to normality soon and then you can just learn wherever you find most comfortable so my next tip is to be organized for your lectures and get everything set up five minutes before you log on so i learned from a mix of live lectures and pre-recorded lectures so if yours is anything similar then for your live lectures make sure that you are ready five minutes before just in case anything goes wrong or you can't like log on to blackboard in time or anything like that just make sure that you're set up and ready to go five minutes before the lecture goes live and my final tip tip number 10 is is to just not stress about it this is a really difficult situation for everyone and online learning is new to most of us uni students i know i had never learned online before this and we're just learning at the same time as the lecturers really like everyone's in this together everyone's in the same boat and your mental health is just as important during this time so if you're starting to get a bit overwhelmed and you feel like everything's a bit much 
then communicate with your lecturers. Communication is absolutely key. And just take a bit of a step back, do something fun, relax a bit, clear your head and then get back to it. So don't stress yourself out about it and remember to still have fun. Our university years are supposed to be the best years of our lives. I can firmly say that I've had the best time at uni so far and I'm not going to let coronavirus ruin it now. I can tell you that for free. So just don't stress about it, have fun, see your friends and yeah, I wish you all the best of luck. So that is everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I really hope that you found some of the tips helpful. Please make sure to subscribe if you are enjoying my uni videos or just my videos in general. It really, really helps my channel out and I'm really enjoying making content at the moment. It's something that I really wanna keep up throughout third year. So please subscribe to let me know if you are enjoying this. And yeah, that's it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.